All right, we'll jump into it because we do have quite a bit to cover today, and so we appreciate everyone being here. Vice Mayor has joined us at the beginning this week. Thank you, Vice Mayor. On time. We're, we're lucky to have him. So our first topic we're going to visit about today is Neighborhood Night Out. We uh, want to encourage people, and there's some things that we're going to share today that we hope uh, our community takes advantage of. Neighborhood Night Out is Tuesday, August 14th. The times set are between 5.30 and 9 p.m. that night. This was formerly celebrated as National Night Out, and we moved it, and it's in its third year to help celebrate safe communities. It's an annual event that promotes neighborhood safety, combats crime, and encouraging neighbors to get to know one another through neighborhood picnics, cookouts, and other social gatherings in designated places. To encourage participation, the city will waive park fees for groups who want to hold their gathering in neighborhood parks. Again, we're going to waive those park fees this year. And while supplies last, the city will also provide barricades at no charge for groups that want to block off a portion of their street for their event. So waive the park fees, and while we have enough barricades, we will provide you free barricades. It is that important to us. We think this is a great way to continue to battle some of those issues that neighborhoods can find themselves in when they absolutely don't know their neighbors. The registration form for these parties are available online, as well as information on how to plan a block party that includes the form for street closures. You can register your party by visiting wichita.gov slash NNO if you just simply need to have a better understanding of how to throw a party call the vice mayor <laughs> so far we only have 11 parties registered three in parks and uh, we've only had three barricades that have been requested so we do have some resources again Wave park fees, free barricades while they last. Let's make this something that we can build upon and, and create safer communities because of it. Fire safety, uh, July 1st is just a month away. We want to ensure that the community is aware of the new ordinance in relation to fireworks. So fireworks can be shot starting June 27th and will run through July 5th until July 5th. 10 a.m. to midnight are the new hours. This is the only time period, the only time period that you can shoot fireworks without resulting in a $250 ticket. And we are going to ensure that people abide by the law this year. So. As a rule of thumb, if it's bought here in Wichita, it can be shot in Wichita. Anything other than that needs to have approval from the fire department. And anything um, that emits flaming balls or sparks higher than six feet or more are not allowed. And you will get a $250 ticket. And so we are going to enforce the ordinance. That was the whole goal this year. Uh, we didn't change the ordinance, but we're going to enforce the ordinance. The other new addition is property owners can be held responsible for fireworks shot on their property. And adults can be held responsible for juveniles. So safety personnel will be out enforcing the ordinance by issuing citations. And you're not going to see them coming this year. Many of them will be in unmarked vehicles that are going to be driving around the city. We are going to cite you if you're doing something illegal this year. So for more information for that, visit wichita.gov slash fire. I want to remind people that the Say Yes campaign, you can still sign up. Children ages 5 through 18 have a slew of summer activities, including access to our pools, 
bus rides for free, golf and foot golf at Clap Golf Course, meals and forgiveness of outstanding library fees. I'm not even sure our librarians knew that because they're always looking for extra money. I'm kidding. So there's a lot of advantages you can get, a lot of activities, a lot of free things. If you sign up your children ages 5 to 18 to take advantage of either free bus rides, free activities, free access to the pools, I encourage you to do that. So the other cool stuff we're going to talk about, and we'll bring up our director of libraries here, is the um, book line that we're going to start in um, conjunction with opening our new library. So the Wichita's Carnegie Library was replaced with the Central Library in 1967. And a whole bunch of volunteers came together and they started, as you can see in the picture, a book brigade. They literally transferred all of the materials by hand from one library to the new library. And we are going to recreate that. We've talked to some Wichitans that have uh, participated in that last book brigade and they have great memories, don't you, Fire Chief? It was only 50 years ago. <laughs> Wichitans are invited to become part of the 2018 Books and More Brigade by gathering along a route between Central Library and the new Advanced Learning Library at 8 a.m. on the morning of Saturday, June 16th. Again, 8 a.m. on Saturday, June 16th. We're going to recreate that book brigade that they used to transfer all of the materials the last time we moved. And so uh, Director Cynthia Berner is going to share with us a little bit more. Thank you, Mayor. Um, June 16th is a very exciting day for our community because we will be celebrating the grand opening of the long-awaited Advanced Learning Library. And we would like the community to come out and help us make this an event that generations in the future will remember, just as they did when we moved into the Central Library. So we are inviting members of the community to sign up on our webpage, wichitalibrary.org, simply to let us know how many people are planning to come, then to start at the Central Library or at the Advanced Learning Library or somewhere in the middle along the route. We will be bringing materials out the north door of the Central Library, up along Century 2 Drive, west along Kennedy Plaza, across the river, and then along the west side of McLean, along the sidewalk. We're using sidewalks all the way from one building to the other. We anticipate needing at least 500 people to make this work, we would love to have two or three times that number of people in the line. Because as the mayor said, 50 years later, people still talk to us about what a great opportunity it was when they were able to participate in 1967. In addition to the books, we'll have other materials that relate to the expanded services and amenities of the new library as well. And then we invite people after they've participated in this brigade to join us on the West Plaza of the Advanced Learning Library where we will have a brief dedication ceremony, a ribbon cutting, and then your new library will be open for business. Thank you, Director. And it's just going to be exciting to be a part of this uh, very historic occasion. If nothing else, you'll get to see how they transfer nanobytes by hand. <laughs> so speaking of library, we're also thrilled to announce Station 11 as our 2018 Big Read selection this year. The Big Read Wichita will return for an 11th year featuring the book Station 11, an apocalyptic science fiction novel starring actors that are characters dedicated to preserving the arts and was written by Emily St. John Mandel. 
The Big Read Wichita runs from October 1st through November 15th, a kickoff party and a visit from the author are among the planned program events. Additional details will be announced during the summer. And readers are invited to join the conversation at the Big Read's Facebook page and find events happening in and around Wichita at bigreadwichita.org. And we're also thrilled to announce that Wichita has received a $15,000 grant from the National Endowment for the Arts to support the One Book Reading Program. So I'm a proud again to serve as co-chair along with the congressional spouse, Susan Estes. So thank you. Anything to add to that? Answer any questions people have. So we'll just open it up for questions for any topic at this point. Any questions today? So I, I do have a question about the book for me. Go ahead. So Jump on the mic if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, so uh, I'm Jake with KFDI. So the book brigade is going to transfer books from the one library to the new one. There's already a program in place to get most of the books from the central library to the new one, right? So, so, why so most of the books are already in the new library. So this is just really a um, it's ceremonial, ceremonial okay. event. How many books are you going to transfer? We'll be transferring between 75 and 100 books as part of this. Right. Thank you. What's that in nanobytes? I don't know the answer to that. Uh, this question is for you, Mr. Mayor. I was told to ask uh, any new news on the baseball team. So we do have some news on the baseball team, that none that we're allowed to share. But thanks for asking. Uh, any other questions? Th thank you all for coming. Enjoy. Uh, look forward to seeing all of you at some of these great events.